Welcome back to Nerd Notify, everyone. I'm Damon, and today we're talking Stranger Things. Stranger Things was released on Netflix, all eight episodes, all at once, so you can binge this beautifully amazing series. I'm just going to tell you right off the bat that I had a phenomenal time watching this show. It was, it was fantastic. I mean, I enjoyed everything about it. Stranger Things was created by the Duffer Brothers, and you can tell that they had a massive love for the 80s, or some part of the 80s, because the aesthetics of this, the logo for the uh, the titles, like the intro sequence, um, the, st- like the stylistic choices in cinematography and how they're paying homage to Stephen King, Steven Spielberg, um, there, there are numerous ties with different movies and books and shows that you can see uh the biggest one to me was poltergeist i don't know why that's the one that stood out for me but the poltergeist is is the one that i tend to see a lot of similarities with besides them doing some others that isn't a bad thing in my opinion i actually thought it just it, it maybe it was a nostalgia feeling or something but the show moved very quickly and it all just seemed to keep me intrigued without me ever having a moment of like hmm this is slow this is boring When are we going to get to the next scene? I never felt that. The show was fantastically paced, in my opinion. So this story revolves around a missing child, Will. And Winona Ryder's character, his mother, is trying to find him. Um, He has been able to contact her in these weird, mysterious ways. And no one seems to believe her. And there's this other conspiracy going on with the government. And There's so much that kind of happens at once that you're instantly just like, okay, where does this thread go? Where does this thread go? How does it all tie in? And I do think you get a pretty good payoff on that. There are some some pretty nice moments toward the end of the uh, the eight episode streak that you have here. And they're all running about 40 to 50 minutes. So it's it's a good it's a good watch. I want to talk a little bit about the performances that we see. Of course, we have Winona Ryder and David Harbour, um, amongst others. But the standout performances for me were the group of kids in this in this show because they killed it. I mean, they killed it. It was it was crazy how fun and interesting they made the show compared to what was happening with others. And yes, there are some great moments from the other characters, but I just want to talk about this group of kids. Um, You have the main trio of kids, the boys who are looking for their lost friend, Will, um, and they kind of. I would say make up a good meat of the interactions that you see. And they are so fun to watch. At first, I, I wasn't sure about it because they, they felt a, not forced, but they were definitely, you could tell they were child actors who had just gotten into it. But I don't know what happened or what where the transformation came in, but they, they just took it on their own. And it was stellar. I mean, they were so fun to watch. Uh, this kid, Dustin, end up being the funniest kid in the, in the group for me. Um, he really was a, a delight to watch. This girl, Millie Brown, Millie Bobby Brown, I believe is her name. She is phenomenal. She really just brought a presence to this that you weren't like that. I wasn't expecting. She brought something special that I didn't think we were going to get. But at the same time, it was just so fun to watch her. Every scene she's in, I feel she kind of commands your, your attention, even though she's not speaking most of the time or she's really just this. She's just this presence, and it's it's going to be a joy to watch her grow and see how she can kind of catapult herself into this crazy world of film. And I know I've seen her in some other things. I think there were other TV shows or something, but like smaller appearances or something. But I, I think she's really got uh, something special, and it, it was it was really a joy to watch her kind of work in this. I really don't think I have anything bad to say about this show. I mean, there was just so much of it that I, I love to watch. There's some humor. There's the the darker, you know, heavier tone that really kind of grabs you. And there's a little bit of romance here and there. Like, it, it's not so much that any one thing is focused on holistically. It's just one great conglomerate of fun. I loved it. I highly suggest everyone go out and watch or uh, sit home and binge this show as quickly as you can because it is so worth it. Really, it is. I, I, I can't give it a glowing enough approval, truthfully. Um, that's that's all I've got to say. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. As always, it means the world to me. You guys are great, and I can't do this without you. So thank you again for watching. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe, share it with friends and family, all that fun stuff that keeps me doing this, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Don't forget to have a good day, everyone, and dance it out, all right? Peace.